Thank you to Kettering University and Stryker Careers for their continued support. Learn more at the end of this video. Hey y'all, Graham here for First Updates Now. Today we're going, going to be going through a quick recap of the Excelsior Region Finger Lakes Qualifying Tournament that happened this past Sunday, December 5th at Penfield High School. This competition was pretty small with only 15 teams total, so final alliances had two teams rather than the normal three teams. And as we're hearing from a lot of other regions, the strategy and endgame is all ducks, ducks, ducks. With a six point value, teams that can balance the speed of the carousel and driver coordination are able to score massive points during endgame. In some matches, we saw eight and even all nine ducks hitting the floor during endgame. Another common strategy of this competition was to always deliver to the top level of the Alliance Shipping Hub, no matter the randomization. On top of providing the highest score at the end of the game, it also allows for, if the randomization is correct, teams to get the Team Shipping Element Detection Bonus. The average score was around 110 points, with the high score of the day being in the finals with an alliance of 548 for Enerbots and 8397 Beta, putting up the day's high score of 192 points, which could have been a 202 point match if not for a minor penalty on their part. As we approach the end of qualifications, the crowd saw a great match of the red alliance of 548 for Enerbots and 12736 Electric Mayhem Green posting an, at the time, region high of 170 points. Just a great match coming late in the day as teams were just starting to get their bots really dialed in. For this competition's alliance captains, we had first seed 12833 Mechanical Meltdown choose 5356 TARDIS represent as their alliance partners. Second seed captain 12736 Electric Mayhem Green chose their sister team 12737 Electric Mayhem White as their alliance partners. Third seed captain 6955 Robo Vines chose 5020 Kilobots. And the fourth seed captain 5484 Enderbots chose 8397 Beta as their partners. An interesting strategy note here, as Enderbots declined an alliance selection invitation from second seed alliance captain Electric Mayhem Green, which later paid off as they defeated the first seed alliance and went on to capture the championship, becoming the winning alliance captain after being the, only the fourth seed alliance. In the finals, it turned out to be all out mayhem, electric mayhem that is, with the blue alliance from Nichols High School of Electric Mayhem Green and their sister team Electric Mayhem White facing off against Enderbots and their alliance partner, Team Beta. A cool fact to note, we heard from the Nichols High School teams that in the history of their twin programs, they had never been alliance partners in elimination rounds. They had competed against each other in finals, but never as alliance partners. The first finals game went to the red alliance of Enderbots and Beta with the competition high score of 192 against the blue alliance score of 127, going into a tense tiebreaker after the Electric Mayhems turned the tides with a 190 to 128 game leading them to the finals where Enderbots and Beta took the final win with a 157 to 122 match. A big shout out to Beam, the only rookie team in this competition and the winner of the judges award. Beam is out of the Buffalo City School District with six members from three different city high schools, no permanent home base and no field to practice on. They used a bungee cord and rubber band based arm and gripper and we're looking forward to big things from them in the years to come. Keep an eye out for them in the Excelsior region. Beam, their sponsor, is committed to building diversity in STEM fields by encouraging, supporting, and preparing underrepresented students of all ages to pursue a future in STEM careers. It was really great to have them with us at Penfield. And thank you to Penfield High School for hosting the teams, as well as FRC 1511 Rolling Thunder and FTC 6996 Oncoming Storm for setup, volunteering, and live streaming this competition. And another thank you to the judges, refs, FTAs, and volunteers for their help during the whole competition. Looking forward, we have a virtual competition in the first week of January 2nd through the 8th and a busy doubleheader weekend on the 15th and 16th of January in Peekskill and Corning respectively. Look for a recap video of our Corning qualifier coming soon after. For first updates now on 5356 TARDIS, this is Graham. Thanks for joining us today and good luck to all teams in Freight Frenzy. See you soon. We'd like to thank Stryker for their continued support of First Updates Now. Stryker's internship portal is now open and available. Discover internships and rotational programs located around the world, including their headquarters in Michigan, when you go to careers.stryker.com and click on Students and Graduates. Thanks to Kettering University for their support of this video. Kettering University is a national leader in experiential STEM and business education. 
Discover why so many FIRST alumni come to Kettering University by scheduling a virtual visit at Kettering.edu. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.